You probably wonder, how do I do that? In the coming episodes, we will apply a bottom-up approach to analyze and introduce the secret of my harmonica playing. Now, let's begin with the five basic techniques of harmonica. Harmonica is one of the only few instruments designed with a blow and draw mechanism. This allows players to perform beyond the limit of a single breath when compared with many other wind instrumentalists. Meanwhile, the primary drive for inhalation and exhalation is a diaphragmatic breathing system, with the lung being the secondary drive that should be activated after the diaphragm is out of breath. In fact, most people use diaphragmatic breathing when they sleep or in complete relaxed or at rest status. Yes, it is a terribly small area to aim at. The necessary way for the airflow to pass from the diaphragm to the mouthpiece would be the oral cavity. Although the contact point of the mouth and the mouthpiece is obviously the lips, the alteration of air pressure by the change of oral cavity in shape and tongue position would greatly affect the effectiveness of the airflow passage. An obstructed airflow will lead to pitch and tone alteration of the note. The ideal lateral movement of the harmonica shall always maintain a 90 degree with the lip of the harmonica player. When holding the harmonica, the two hands should be able to form a cave below the instrument to perform as a mute. The hand enclosure position will also greatly affect the tone color of the harmonica sound due to the modulation effect. Just like this. The left hand is the prime mover of the lateral movement, while the right hand serves as a stabilizer with the hinge joint on the wrist to support the smoothness of the movement. The head shall remain steady except when performing passages that require advanced coordination skill. With the traditional hand position, the right index finger is positioned and placed on the slider button. By pressing and releasing the button, the slider mechanism is activated. It requires flexion and extension control by a group of long flexor, extensor and intrinsic muscles of the finger. There are two ways to create an attack sound on a harmonica, glottal separation or tonguing. Glottal separation is performed with a mechanism similar to coughing, a forced exhalation to violently release a closed glottis. It creates an attack sound while maintaining a smooth airflow of the oral cavity to ensure the pitch of the harmonica is not affected. Tonguing is another technique to create an attack sound. The effect is created by a short and powerful tongue protrusion within the mouth cavity to generate an abrupt airflow towards the mouthpiece. Due to the change of oral cavity in the shape, the obstructed airflow might cause alteration of pitch and tone of the note. What's my limit? How long can I inhale and exhale on harmonica? Let's experiment.
How fast can I play? If you think you can beat me easily, share your video with us now. If you think we're hiding anything from you, question below. If you'd like to learn more about the harmonica, subscribe now. Until then, see you.